So a friend of mine asked me what my advice would be for website building tools to help him set up his website for his business. He knows that I review and test website building products, so he wanted to know what was my short list for the best tools to easily make a website. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the advice I gave him, and I'll share with you what I think are the best tools available right now for easily making a great website. Finding tools that actually work and will help you quickly and easily make a great looking website and a powerful website can be difficult. I know because the first website took me months to make and I worked with all sorts of different tools and the tools never actually delivered what they promised and it was really frustrating. I wanna save you from that frustration. Hi, I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com and I've made it my mission to help people like you find the best and easiest ways of making high quality websites. I test and review website building products looking for what's easy to use but still powerful and flexible. When I find products I like, I create tutorials that will help you get started the right way building your website. So if you're ready to get started building an awesome website, let's dive in. I've learned from experience that choosing the right tools makes a huge difference. It's almost impossible to tell what tools actually work and are easy to use based on the sales pages of the different companies. It's easy for them to make a great looking page and then tell you about all the features that they have, but the real question is, how easy is it for you to achieve those same results? Most of the time, I find that the sales pages and the features look awesome, but in practice, many of the website building tools aren't easy to use and can actually be extremely frustrating. I purchased the tools that I have tested and reviewed myself, and all of my opinions in this video are my own, and I get to decide which products I recommend. To support all of this testing and all of the free tutorials that I create, I use affiliate links. You'll find links to all of the products that I recommend below this video. Using these links costs you nothing extra, and it provides me with a commission that helps me to create the tutorials that I make and keep testing website building products, so I thank you for your support. There are three important factors to consider when you're deciding on what tools you should use to build your website with. Number one is, is it gonna be easy to use? The whole point is to take action and to get started building your website and get it up and running as quickly as possible. And the best way to do that is to find easy to use tools for building your website. Number two is the tools need to be flexible and powerful. If you're trying to do something with your website, it needs to be powerful so you can accomplish your goals. It also needs to be flexible so that it can grow with you as you grow your website. And number three is you wanna be able to easily get help when you need it. You don't wanna get stuck and not know where to turn for help. And the best way to find tools with great help and support behind them are to find companies that sell products and offer you online support, as well as choosing tools that are widely used. With widely used tools, it can be easy to find guides and tutorials to help you learn how to expand and grow your site. The tools that I recommend in this video fit with these three criteria. So let's take a look at the tools that I have found to best help you get your website up and running quickly. The first is picking a good website building platform. And WordPress is the best among them. You probably already know or have heard of WordPress. WordPress is one of the most popular platforms for building a website. It's powerful, flexible, and easy to expand upon. I'm just gonna very briefly explain what WordPress is and how it works. So if you already know about it, just bear with me for a moment. The first thing that you need to know about WordPress is that there are two different versions of WordPress. There's the version that you'll find on wordpress.com and the version that you'll find at wordpress.org. The wordpress.com is a fully hosted closed system. You're limited by the plugins that you can use and the themes that you can choose from. It's also only hosted at wordpress.com. It's a good platform, but it does restrict what you can do with it. WordPress.org is open source software. At WordPress.org, you'll find software that you can download and then use it, modify it, and extend it the way you want to. So people out there have been doing just that, and they've been added all sorts of amazing functions and features to WordPress. Just about anything you can think of doing with your website, you can do with WordPress. But WordPress isn't complete on its own. WordPress is like the operating system for your computer or the drivetrain for your car. You need to add an interface or a body that your viewers will interact with when you see your website. And that's where the web design aspects of building your website comes in. And you do that with WordPress by adding a theme to your WordPress website. 
A theme gives a look to your site, and it gives you the tools that you need to design pages that your viewers will see. So choosing the right theme is really important. You want to choose a theme that will allow you to easily design pages. Most themes have static page designs that you need to know how to use code in order to change even the most basic parts of your design, like the colors or the layout. So I recommend themes that have page builder functionality built into them. Page builders make it really easy to design pages and modify the look of your site without you needing to know how to code. And then the final thing about WordPress is that you need a place for your site to live, and that's called hosting. A hosting company provides you with a computer and disk space that is connected to the internet and serves your site so that your visitors can see it. So to build a website and blog, you need three things. WordPress, a WordPress theme, and a hosting company. WordPress is free, and most hosting companies have tools that will install WordPress for you. And there are several good page builder themes available for WordPress, but I have one that I particularly like. My favorite theme to recommend is the Divi theme. I have a link to Divi in the description below. And the reason why I recommend the Divi theme is because it's really easy to use once you get comfortable with a page builder. Building pages in Divi is fun and fast. Divi gives you a ton of control over the look and design of your web pages. It's the best all-around page builder experience that I've found for WordPress, or actually building websites on any platform. Everything is right where you need it. And at the same time, the builder stays out of your way while you're designing. There are no sidebars or top bars cluttering up your browser window where you're working. If you want to edit text in a section, it's as easy as clicking on the text and then changing it, just like you would with a word processing program. The Divi Page Builder offers some features that I've really started to take for granted, like keyboard shortcuts. It sounds like a simple thing, but most WordPress page builders don't offer that. Being able to undo or redo or copy styles from one module to another with a keyboard shortcut is an amazing time saver. The Divi theme also recently added the ability to automatically save your work while you're making changes. Something else that most other page builders don't offer. So when you get lost in designing your pages, you don't need to worry so much about losing your internet connection or accidentally closing the browser window without saving. It might sound like a small thing, but it's something that I have really found to be a lifesaver. Divi also allows you to copy page designs from one site to another. So you can build a page on a development site and then upload that page quickly and add it to your live site. The ability to move pages also makes it so that you can get page templates from other people. I have a whole blog post on free page templates that are available for the Divi theme. That in itself can be a real time saver in building your site. You can load a design that you like and then modify it the way you want it. And then all you have to do is publish it to your website. The page builder can also be used to design great looking blog posts. Divi is a great theme for any kind of website or blog that you want to build. The Divi theme also offers some advanced features. One of the more exciting features if you're interested in marketing is the ability to do A-B split testing. This allows you to test just about anything on your page. If you want to try out, for example, two different headlines to see which resonates better with your audience. You can add them in Divi, and then Divi will tell you which one performed better. This is a really powerful next level feature. The benefits continue when you get a license for the Divi theme. You get more than just one theme. You also have access to the Extra theme. Extra is similar to Divi in that it offers the same page builder, but it also offers a special page builder for blog category pages and some other additional functionality specifically for blogs. So if you want to create a really extensive online magazine with lots of different categories, you might want to check out the extra theme. A license for Divi also includes two powerful plugins to help you grow your social following and build your email list. These two plugins are Monarch, which help you to encourage people to like and share your content on social media, and Bloom, which offers all sorts of advanced functionality like pop-ups, fly-ins, protected content to encourage your viewers to sign up for your mailing list. If you want to build sites for other people, the Divi license also allows you to build an unlimited number of sites. When I first discovered the Divi theme, I was a little bit skeptical about all that it had to promise. But two years later, I wish that I had just decided to get the lifetime plan that they offer right from the beginning. The lifetime plan gives you lifetime access to all that I mentioned, plus lifetime support. I think it's actually one of the best values available. One of my favorite things about the Divi theme is that the developers behind Divi continue to improve it and innovate. 
The theme is always getting better over time. Now I look at the lifetime plan for Divi as a one-time fee for an incredible development team that just keeps working in the background and keeps making my site better. You can learn more about the Divi theme by checking out the link below or by clicking the link at the top of this video for my full review of the Divi theme. I also offer a tutorial series where I'll not only show you how to install Divi, but I'll give you some key tips for making your website look great, and I'll show you exactly how to get started using Divi. So look for that link for that tutorial at the end of this video or in the description below. The next thing we're going to look at is hosting for your WordPress website. Hosting can be one of the more complex and frustrating parts of setting up a website. I've tried and tested multiple hosting companies, and I'm going to share with you two of my favorites. One great thing about building a WordPress website is that if you don't like your hosting company, you can always move your site. And many hosting companies are so excited to get your business that they'll actually move your site for you to their hosting company absolutely for free. So you aren't stuck with a hosting company if you decide later on that you don't like them. So my first recommendation is for those of you who are really trying to keep your initial website costs down. If you're trying to get started and you just want to keep the initial investment as low as possible, you should check out SiteGround. SiteGround offers some of the lowest introductory pricing for hosting while still offering great quality service and great technical support. The base plan is great for getting started. You can always move up to a higher plan later or add additional services as you need it. SiteGround is a quality hosting company at a great introductory price. I've got a link to SiteGround below where you can check them out for yourself. I also have a video in my tutorial series that will walk you through exactly how to set up SiteGround and get WordPress installed and configured properly on SiteGround hosting. My second hosting company recommendation is Flywheel. Flywheel is a hosting company that I'm actually excited about. They've taken something that is traditionally difficult and confusing and made it really simple and easy. Flywheel offers next level hosting experience. When you first look at the pricing, Flywheel might initially seem like it's more expensive than other hosting companies. But when you factor in everything that's included and the quality of the hosting that they provide, I think that it's actually an amazing value. Not to mention that their user interface will save you so much time and keep you from getting frustrated and confused. If you want to build websites for other people, Flywheel is definitely worth a look. Flywheel makes managing customer websites really easy. Flywheel is actually designed to be used by professional web designers, but it's also the easiest to use and manage hosting company that I've seen. Some of the highlights of Flywheel include high quality, next level WordPress specific hosting, malware monitoring offered by Security, which is the biggest name in WordPress site security. And actually, if you were to buy the security features that come with Flywheel on their own, it would actually be as much as their base hosting plan. You also get automatic site backups, which you can actually use, and you can download those backups to your computer if you want to, and you don't have to pay any extra to get access to those backups. And a bunch of other features that if you were to get them with another hosting company, a la carte, would cost you way more than what Flywheel's plans offer. And there's a bunch more amazing features that they offer, and so they're definitely worth checking out. I really like Flywheel. I think that they offer a great service and the easiest hosting management that I've seen. One thing to know about Flywheel is that they are a US-based company, and their main technical support is only available during the day in the United States, with emergency service at night. So that's something you'll want to keep in mind. I'll include a link to Flywheel below this video, and you can see for yourself that it's a really great option. Those are the basic tools that you need to get your site up and running. The basics that I've shown you in this video will allow you to build an amazing website. With a site that's built on WordPress, you'll have access to thousands of plugins to add all sorts of functionality to your site. You can create an online store, build up a social media network, really the sky is the limit. I'd encourage you to take this advice and don't delay and get started building your website. Use the links below to check out my recommendations for yourself. Then you can check out my free tutorial series where I'll guide you through the proper way of setting up and configuring these tools. Then I'll give you an introduction to web design and help you get started building your website. It's all part of my free tutorial series. You can support this series by using the links below. Again, it costs you nothing extra. If you decide to sign up for any of my recommendations, I'll receive a bit of compensation that I use to support my free tutorial series. 
Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can easily come back and find these videos and my reviews. And if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and tell me why. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let's get started building your amazing website. I'll see you in the tutorial series.